Today is September 12th, the 255th day of 2022, and here are just a few of the things that happened on this day in history. On September 12, 1609, 413 years ago today, English explorer Henry Hudson began his exploration of what we now call the Hudson River. September 12th marks the 208th anniversary of the Battle of North Point, which saw American troops stop the British Army's land push towards Baltimore. The SS Central America sank off the coast of North Carolina, around 160 miles east of Cape Hatteras, while caught in a hurricane on September 12, 1857. Of the 578 crew and passengers aboard ship that day, only 152 survived. She was also carrying about 9.1 tons of gold mined during the California Gold Rush. The wreck was located on September 11, 1988, one day shy of the 131st anniversary of her sinking. Today is the 82nd anniversary of the Lescaux cave paintings being discovered in France, completely by accident, when four young men were searching for a lost dog. The Lescaux paintings have been dated to the Upper Paleolithic era of the Stone Age, making them between 50,000 to 12,000 years old, and are probably the most famous cave paintings found to date. 63 years ago, September 12, 1959, saw the premiere of Bonanza, the first television series to be filmed and broadcast entirely in color. The show ran for 14 seasons and 431 episodes. Dwight Doc Gooden set the Major League Baseball record for most strikeouts in a season by a rookie pitcher on September 12, 1984, when he recorded his 276th strikeout that year, a record still standing 38 years later. Today is the 30th anniversary of NASA launching the Space Shuttle Endeavour for mission STS-47. STS-47 is notable for a few reasons, among those being the shuttle program's 50th mission, May Carol Jemison becoming the first African-American woman in space, Mamoru Mori becoming the first Japanese citizen to fly in a U.S. spacecraft, and the first married couple in space, Mark Lee and Jan Davis. Nine years ago today, on September 12, 2013, NASA confirmed to the world that the Voyager 1 space probe became the first human-made object to reach interstellar space, although the actual event itself occurred over a year earlier, on August 25, 2012. As of 2019, the Voyager 2 and Pioneer 10 space probes have also reached interstellar space, with the Pioneer 11 and New Horizons probes expected to follow suit in the future. I've been Hunter, this is Unexpected History, and as always, I thank you for watching. Until the next time, may your days be pleasantly unexpected.